All right, here's a chance to practice what you learned on the previous video. Here we have a base of a triangular prism. It's a right triangle. The base with the measurements and the height is 12. Three tasks, draw the net, find the surface area, find the volume. Okay, so the thing to do now is pause the video, copy down, the right triangle, all the dimensions, and the question, and do the work, okay? Then, go ahead and play it and check your work. Go ahead and do that now, and I'll see you in a few minutes when you're done. All right, let's work this out now. Hopefully you did everything and it made sense, especially after watching the first video where we did this with a rectangular prism. Okay, so since we have a triangle, that's the base. So to draw the net, first I start with the base. Then I'm going to have a rectangle. Triangle has three sides, so I'm going to have three rectangles. If this were, were a pentagon with five sides, I'd have five rectangles here, and so on. Then I draw another base down here. And I've got the five sides, five surfaces of a triangular prism. Okay, Remember, the uh, top and bottom are both called bases. And then we have three faces. Okay, The faces are the rectangular sides of prisms. All right, so task number one, done. Oh, let's label it. Not done yet. Okay, that's a seven. This is a five. There's an 8. Now I can add some other labels here to make doing these subproblems a little bit easier. Okay, I can move that 7 down there. Since it's a rectangle, the sides are equal, opposite sides are equal. This 8 matches this edge over here if I folded this up, so that's also going to be an 8. And then you can see how this 5, if I folded that, would make a 5 there. Since we know the height is 12, all of these measurements all the way across, these are all 12s because the thing is uh, 12 units high. Okay, And I can also draw the 8 down here. Over there I can put the 5s. You can add as many labels as you want to help it make sense. But once you have the uh, height and the, the measurements or the dimensions of the base, you've got everything you need to make the calculations. So now we're definitely done. Now I can check it. Now we're going to find the surface area. To do that, I need the area of all of the surfaces. Okay. We need all the surfaces. There are five of them. Okay. So, one thing we can do is do the work right inside each surface. That way we can better keep track of what's going on here. So, we have 12 times 5. For 60, so I have 12 times 7 for 84, 12 times 8 for 96. I'm circling the answers as I go. It's a good practice, so when I go to, to find the total surface area, I know exactly where to look for my numbers. It saves me time and confusion. Okay, here, since we were told this is a right triangle, this area is going to be base times height, then we're going to cut that in half, right? So that's 35 divided by 2, or 17 and a half. So I'm going to put my 17 and a half in there. And up here, since they are congruent and parallel, very key vocab to remember. The bases will never touch. If you extended them forever to infinity in all directions, they would never touch. That's parallel. All right. So we've got the surface area of each surface. So let's add them together. I'm going to switch up to red now so this doesn't look too messy. Surface area equals... We've got 17 and a half twice and 60, 84, 
and 96. I'm going to use the calculator real quick here. I got 275 units there. Since area is two-dimensional, our answer is two-dimensional. So we have units squared, 275 on this triangular prism. So surface area, done. Now we need the volume. That's area of the base times the height. We already calculated the area of the base. That's right here, 17 and a half, right? So I'm going to bring that down here. And we were also told the height, circling in red right there. Let's bring that down. And if we multiply 17 and a half by 12, we will get the volume of this object. 210 units cubed. Volume is a three-dimensional object. Remember, we got this 17.5. This may look like two dimensions here, but really the 17.5 came out of our 5 times 7, right? Divided by 2. So we had our two dimensions plus our third dimension there. Three dimensions, three measurements. Therefore, three units cubed is how we say that or you could say cubic units either way there we go I hope you got those same answers I hope you enjoyed this and look for more videos practicing different prisms and definitely check out the song volume by Mega Math, my little band. Keeps all this vocab, all of these strategies in a nice little song for you that you can walk around your house and sing. Woo! See you later.